live. Hello, happy spring, everybody. Okay. Now, we have not done a live from the trunk in a while, and we are, it's, it's sort of nice out. Yeah, no, it's okay. sort of nice out. So we took our live from the trunks off over the winter, and, you know, we're popping into stores, but we decided to do a live from Trader Joe's from the trunk um, with two. the newest finds. Um, and you know how Where's they are. Trader Joe's? Joe's. There they it is. They let us film in the store, so we secretly snuck a little things in there. But we're going to go live from the trunk, hang out, relax here, and show you guys the latest Trader Joe's finds. Um, really cool that we found, so we found some awesome stuff. So we're gonna start um, in the back refrigerator part. You know that whole part where it has all the dips and stuff. So here are some new ones. <laughs> yeah, this I'm kind of addicted to right now. It's um, hummus. It's chocolate hummus. I know this might sound really weird, but I I use this with peanut butter yes. on my thin <gasps> slim zero bread, and I feel like I'm having like Nutella and peanut butter. I know it's really good. Little that's like kind of my lunch. Lately. I would, I would, if I wanted a little sweet treat, I would dip that in like strawberries in that. Oh, it's so good. Some strawberries in that. It's mm -hmm. just perfect. It's perfect. This is new. Haven't tried. Looking forward to trying it. This is um, obviously you can see what it is, but it's um, <laughs> oh, we I, we read through all the ingredients. They're all good for you. The carbs are low. The fibers are good. Um, I'm gonna try this later. Which we'll constantly talk about these. This is what they look like. Okay, wait. They're in the back section here, all the crackers. And here's a new version. So look, new version, new version. Ooh, they're like little sticks. So you can dip your Kite Hill hummus. Oh, this? Uh, uh, not Kite Hill hummus, Kite Hill cream cheese sticks in. You can dip hummus in with that, right? What we love about these crackers is they are so high in fiber. Oh, this is upside down. Sorry. Okay? So high in fiber, um, lower carb, a great little um, cracker snack option than your higher carb uh, crackers. And that cracker could also go with this new vegan yes. caramelized onion dip. So we found a lot of vegan stuff, which is really great. Um, so plant-based or anyone that needs that in their life. So this one I'm looking forward to trying, caramelized Oh yeah, dip. vegan. Jess Jacobson, it's for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, this is my favorite, favorite pesto. I'm a huge pesto fan. I find the sodium is not super high. It's actually made with walnuts, I think, instead of um, pine nuts. Pine nuts, yep. So if you're allergic to walnuts, please don't eat this. <laughs> but it's really good. So I use this whole container for one pound of meat. And it's like the perfect for your pesto meat for my pesto meat mm -hmm. I use this. Not at the current moment because everything's on recall. <laughs> <laughs> no ground turkey right now, guys. Ground chicken, you're okay with. No ground turkey right now. Okay. So this is your other option for your pesto. Just Jacobson, vegan. Kale, cashew, basil, pesto. This is absolutely yummy. Because I don't. The sun I don't. is like weird. Oh, here we go. It's good. Thank God for Denise. There we go. The sun. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. So this is a vegan option um, made with cashews for your pesto as well. So. And this, I love tabbouleh. Oh, I love this. I know. But tabbouleh usually comes with the grain, so if you're not looking for the grain, not that the grain is bad for you, but if you're not looking for the grain, this is made with cauliflower instead. I actually throw it on top of my salads and stuff. Mm. Just adds a little bit of flavor. Um, you can actually do anything with this. I mean, you can throw it on top of eggs. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. So or maybe you hollow a little bit of avocado out, and then you put a little bit of scoop in the avocado. Okay. A little pink Himalayan salt. Okay. 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 Maybe. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm gonna do that later. We'll do that. One I later. need to go I'm back like, in. Okay. Here she's going. We'll let you know how you, how that goes. Okay. All right. I'm gonna let you introduce that. I'm gonna go here. So, <laughs> I, as you all know, I'm obsessed with my sweet cream creamer and the new the um. I was always addicted to the vanilla, and it's actually really hard to find. Anyone, give me a thumbs up that you. It's impossible to find your natural coffee made sweet cream lately. Yeah. I know. Um, because it's the new range. It's so good and everyone loves it and it's fun. So <laughs> Trader Joe's has their version. I haven't tried it yet. I will, I will follow back with you. But it is sweet cream and it is clean and it's all the perfect. It's exactly the same. So we'll let you know. We'll come back to that. All right. Here's another cool one. This is new. It's vegan bolognese. So it's not made. It's made with like pea protein. But it's like a bolognese type of sauce. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could try it over your mm -hmm. hearts of palm pasta. I've had this. This is actually really good. And it's interesting because this sits on the shelf. It's like vacuum sealed yeah um and it's hard to pump so it's a lower carb right um two grams of carbs two grams of fiber or so my clean cut people how many carbs is that how many net carbs is that zero here no two you said two carbs and two fiber. i'm sorry did i say two four grams of carbs oh. two <laughs> two see i'm not good at math guys but this heart to pump is or pretty or good reading. <laughs> or reading for that matter <laughs> I don't make glasses as long as I count. Yes. <laughs> so I'm actually looking forward to trying this. Yes. So Not with that this, I'm vegan, but yeah, it's no, you so guys talk. Um, so yeah, with this hearts of palm, I actually don't. I don't even boil it. I throw it like in a pan, 
with maybe just a little blip of olive oil and like saute it up together. Oh. And so it doesn't get like soggy and it's already it's already soft, right? Can you so, put some pesto with sauces? Yeah. yeah. You can make a pesto pasta mm -hmm. with maybe yeah, you can um the pesto with that? Yeah, you yeah. can do your pesto meatballs shrimp. and some shrimp. Shrimp. Some oh yeah. Oh, I like this idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is Thank a good call right here. I'm going back in. <laughs> I'm going back in. <laughs> okay. So uh, so we've always talked about beets and they're good for you. Uh, so these are just already ready to go. So you can just cut these up and put them on a salad. Also, yep. lentils are really good for you. Yes, they are carbohydrate, but they're really good for you. And we'll go deeper into something that these have. It's called resistant starch. Not today. We're going to talk about it. But these mm -hmm. cold are really good for you. They actually act like a probiotic. So drizzling these on top of your salad is a great idea. Like just putting sauerkraut on top of your salad. So this is a great great option and it's also go. a great protein for yeah. anybody who's vegetarian and I mean, vegan it's 10 and grams we're of protein in a half a cup yeah so this is an awesome <laughs> option for some of our um, vegetarian yeah. peeps really good option. you have salmon on you oh yeah so <laughs> i love lox okay so this <laughs> No, but no, this is mean, a lot of people okay. like lox. Okay, and so <laughs> I've lately taking my net zero red with my vegan Kite Hill cream cheese, and I peel this apart and put it on there, and I put some pepper on top of it, put a little lemon. It's delicious. If you like lox and cream cheese, your there answer. you go. Easy, clean cut deal. Both of them are gagging in the mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so you've heard us talk about probiotics before, prebiotics, probiotics. And we know that fermented foods always give us that probiotic, um, prebiotic that we need for our healthy gut. And you know how important healthy gut is in the clean cut world. So Trader Joe's has a spicy fermented Napa cabbage, which, is, which we call kimchi, which I've attempted to try to make. Tried to make it a few times. It came out good. Not as good as this. But spicy fermented cabbage is awesome that you can have on the side, you can have with your eggs, you can put it in your salad. Um, it's really good. And also a sauerkraut. So when we talk about sauerkraut, we want a fermented sauerkraut, not like the sauerkraut you put on your hot dogs from the vendor, which we all love that, but um, pickled Persian cucumber. So this is fermented sauerkraut that is great probiotic, super important for your gut. So these are two things that you can add into your diet for healthy gut health and easy finds at Trader Joe's. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. You guys have probably heard us talk about this before, but I needed it in my house and it's a mixed nut butter. And if you haven't, it's really good. So we know we love our natural nut butters, nothing with garbage in it, no hydrogenated corn nothing. syrup and crap in it, right? So um, if you're bored of peanut butter, bored of just almond butter, um, this is a great mix. It is almonds, cashews, walnuts, Brazil nuts, hazelnuts, and pecans. So it's a nice mix and sea salt. That's it, that is all that's in here, crushed nuts. Um, so this is a really good find. Now you'll see that there's like the oil on the top and sometimes you open it up, it spills out, it gets on the counter, it gets all over you. A little tip, hint, store it upside down. In the refrigerator. Store it upside down. It actually, the oil will move to the top and then yep. it's and then it's chilled a little bit. So when you do open it up and you mix it, it doesn't have that yep. gooey mm -hmm. feeling. Yeah, there's your little hot. Oh. That's your clean cut tip of the day. There you go, all right. Okay, we all like our tortillas. Boop. Carb savvy tortillas. Those are my favorite. Okay, so if you're looking, to, what I love is them, they're small. No one needs a big ass tortilla, all right? Let, let, let's make it real. We don't need this big tortilla, all right? Um, so these are small. Um, they are yummy. They are, let me see if I can get my numbers right here. Okay, nine grams of carbs and six grams of fiber, okay? Three. 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 <laughs> Three. <laughs> She's like, it's three. like three. my producer three. back there. You got three. three. <laughs> so I make these all the time. I make shrimp stir fry with them all the time. Yeah, so you can do some fun things with these. You can make um, enchilada. You can do like, I've done like a baked enchilada pan with it. Um, you can, yeah, tacos, whatever. You can even um, do a little bit of, okay, here we go. A little bit of avocado oil. Put the tortilla in the pan, right? Fry it up just a little bit with a little avocado oil. Put your um, taco stuffing in it. Fold it over and bake a little bit. Make it a little crispier taco. And it's carb savvy, carb friendly. You guys getting a lot of it. Just you've seen us too. This is back. It hasn't been in a while. It is the fire roasted peppers and onions. I love this for fajitas or anything like that. Always keep a bag of these in your freezer. Um, and they were out at Trader Joe's for us, so they're back. Wanted to show you guys. Great little mix of like sausage and peppers, fajitas, that kind of thing. It's a good go-to in your freezer. And I got oh these you guys heard us talk about too, but these are the cauliflower thins. Okay. The Trader Joe's ones, and they're cheaper than anywhere else too. So um, these cauliflower thins are fantastic. I usually make an egg, 
um, toast it up, make a little sandwich with it. And these I'm excited to try. Karen, not so much, because she doesn't like garlic. <laughs> I love what? me some garlic. So, I'm getting better at it. Gar it's okay, you don't have to. It's like salmon. It's, it's like, like we'll <laughs> try your lox if you try garlic. <laughs> I okay. like garlic. I just garlic like and onion okay. pistachios, they also have salt and pepper ones, but I'm like, oh, score, why are pistachios that such good, a great snack? Especially at night, right? Because you have to work to open them. So mm -hmm. put your serving in a bowl, take your time, watch your Netflix, enjoy. Watch your shows, take your time opening them. It's a good find. Okay, now, this okay. is the bag of treats. I'm so excited about this. Okay, Trader Joe's treats. That's my book. Okay, are you ready, people? Hold on. For all those sweet tooth and all those little hats. Sweet tooth alert. Little sweet tooth alert. And all those little things that you want don't want to sit on our hands and torture ourselves through it. Okay, granola, you know how I feel about granola. This one is um, three quarters of a cup is a serving, 19 carbs, seven fiber, eight of this is sugar. I can manage through this as a little treat. I wouldn't buy this all the time because it would trigger me all of the time, but this is a really good option for a granola. So this one, I'm in. You could also sprinkle this over um, like a little yogurt at night if you want that sort of yogurt treat. Or your chia pudding. Or your chia pudding, for example. Yeah. Or there's something else I was gonna tell you to sprinkle that over. <laughs> Anywhere you want to sprinkle granola, <laughs> sprinkle it. <laughs> there's your answer. There's your answer. Okay, sprinkle, that's the key. Um, we haven't tried these yet, but we do have a lot of families that have nut allergies. Um, so I thought this was a nice little treat. Dark chocolate, sunflower seed, butter cups. I like sunflower, yeah, me too. sun butter. And it's really just dark chocolate and um, the sunflower seeds. A um, little bit of organic cane sugar, sea salt. That's about it. So this is a nice treat um, for somebody who either has a nut allergy or wants a different taste. Okay, so these I actually found yesterday. Yesterday at Shoprite. Uh, and they come in the big bag. This is actually portioned out for you. And they're called Enjoy Life and they're protein balls. Now here's the thing. Like when you, you can't feel this, but they feel really hard. Like what? They feel hard. So oh, like, right. So when you eat it, like this, this is the peanut butter. Oh, yeah, they're hard. This is the peanut butter one. The ones that I have yesterday are raspberry. Like it's almost truffle like. Like the inside is softer. And three to four, depending on the size of the little ball, are your serving. So you don't this need them This container says four pieces. Yeah. One. It depends on the size. They're in there. There's, they were different sizes in there. There's four balls in here. Yeah. So this whole thing is a serving. <laughs> right, but the whole thing, like I wouldn't eat this whole thing after a meal. I would have one. It's like the perfect it's amount. A shut maybe, down. Maybe one, maybe two, and then break this up. It's sort of like this. At least two. Two. But it's sort of just like this. Like don't eat the whole thing at one time, nibble at it, but this is portioned out for you and it's just another flavor. So I psyched about these. There's protein in them. Um, there, there's definitely sugar, but that's the whole point, right? We want something sweet, but there's protein in it too. But it's natural, right? There's yeah. no aspartame and garbage no. junk Good. sugar in here. All right, it's all real. All right, these we have not tried yet. But I've heard about these. I saw these on, I saw these on the internet. <laughs> Fruise balls. They are plant powered. If these are vegan. Just <laughs> Okay. What I like about these is they, I can't read everything, but they're, it's, it's a date based ball. But again, so five that's where you're, five is serving. You don't need all five. That's my point. Like just because it's five is serving this bag is here for you. Why not just break it up and just have a bite of it and enjoy it and move on and or save it over two days. Like it's your nighttime little treat. You have two one night, you have two the next night. Like you don't have to sit and eat the entire bag. So that's your challenge. Yeah, I you can hear do it, it though. You, you can totally do it. They're, they're, they're Listen, it's a portion control team. Right. Okay. Uh, we all know that they have the perfect bar. They have all their flavors there. I love those. So those are all there. Okay, this was actually, they've been here before, they're back. Olive or mixed nuts, just a nice different way to have a nut. Yeah, I got them for Christmas, um, I like to have on the table, yeah. and it was, they were a huge it. hit. Yeah, they were a huge okay. hit. So, that's just a good nice, yeah. Okay, this we haven't tried yet. They either are gonna be gross or awesome. Yeah, we're not sure. We're gonna let you guys know about that. We're gonna have to everything like, in that. It, everything in it is completely fine. It has total carbs, eight, total fiber, six, one sugar, one bite is 100 calories, not gonna care But the bite doesn't feel, too small. I think you should try it. I'm gonna try one. It's, it's, Open them up. It's actually, <laughs> if it's good, it's a great right. find. This is it. If it's good, it's good. If it's bad, we've done this before <laughs> and it's the same. But it's, it's stevia is what it's stevia. Yeah, and I'm not monkey. Might be too sweet. 
on. Oh, it does it for me. Oh, wow. Jeez. <laughs> these are fudge. They're okay. It's perfect. I wouldn't buy these. She would. Sorry. <laughs> Hold on, okay. so I can do it. You can bend down. Got it? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. So, I like it. I think they're okay. I think. Depends on the person. Try them out. They're not terrible. No, I like it. Mm -mm. But seriously, guys, for eight carb and six, look, it's, I don't even know what I think this one. I have one, I move on. I'm not like, oh God, I had two. Right? Like, it's just an easy. I would try them. All right. Um, what else? And then I have dog food. Oh, wait. <laughs> Here's my favorite chocolate. Mm. I know we talk about it all the time, but this is what it looks like. Hold on, I need to get in there, brother. <laughs> so, two of these squares is a serving. Okay, two. I like to dip it in. Hold on. Okay. I eat these with my vitamins. <laughs> This is also a good deal right here. Dip it in. It's a nice shut down nighttime snack. And I have two of these or one of these with my Oldie gummy vitamins, my Voltis, and that because I love raspberry and chocolate. And I'm happy. I know it's another little hack, but it works. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So those are the latest Trader Joe's finds that we found. Again, they're always coming up with new stuff. So, you know, anytime we find a few, two or three different new finds, we, you know, make sure we come live from the trunk. So yeah, where, will, where will we be next week? Let us know where you want us to be next week or we should go live in the trunk, find some new finds. Um, and we're gonna be going live this week with some new recipes, so stay tuned. And um, share this video to anybody who you think um, would be interested in our Trader Joe's finds. Thanks, guys. And, uh, see you later. Bye. Okay. Yeah. Then